Hi everyone, Happy New Year! I can't believe it's 2022 already. So today I'll be doing a little bit of goal planning with you guys today to get a feel of what I will be doing for this year, what I want to achieve, and um, just a little bit of how I use my planner and the layout I plan on using for at least the first few months of the year. So my monthly focus this month is to go slow and I think that's a very valid focus for this month because um, with December and all the holidays happening things have been a little bit hectic and especially with two young kids now it gets a little bit crazy. And so I'm filling up my monthly goals and this month obviously as we do a lot of cleaning with the holiday stuff and I really want to um, clean out some old clothes and to um, start a new business idea that I have so if you're interested stay tuned for that So here I just want to add a little bit of reflection in my planner, um, a little bit of uh, 2021 in review. So I will be doing a little bit of journaling in this space. So first of all, I want to mark down things that went well this year. So I restarted my creative business again. This was something that was taking up a lot of time and energy before and I decided to stop a few years ago and I finally um, came back to it because I felt like that was something I really wanted to do. But this time I came back with um, more boundaries for myself and a slower pace. So I think that was really successful and a reason why you're seeing me on YouTube right now. And as I get older, I realize that um, creating systems really help get things done in life. Um, having more productivity and having a lot more peace of mind. So that was something that uh, I thought went well this year is to set up more uh, systems for my life. And on to things that could have been better last year. Um, was more about quality time with family and um, being more present with what I'm doing. There's often times that I do get lost in what I'm doing and uh, that stays in my head and I'm not present with my family and I hope to um, get a lot of my work out of the way this year so that I can really switch off and enjoy the moment. And crazy enough, we are two years into a pandemic and health and wellness is really top of my list right now. So I really want to get back into a health routine and doing some exercise, especially having a baby. So that is one of my priorities. And of course, my favorites of the year was having our new baby join the family, um, restarting my passion projects, which gave me a little bit of life, and having some normalcy in this pandemic life, and having some out of town relatives visit us for a while. and I picked up gardening, so that was fun to try. And now I am going to set up my goals for this planner so I can see what I want to focus on for this year. Uh, 
I'll be spitting it out in a few sections and the first one is self. So a few things I want to work on for myself this year. So these all revolve around my health. So I want to exercise more, eat healthier, and um, schedule in some self-care appointments like massages, um, haircuts, and just simple things like having a nice soak in the tub. And I want to use um, some mindfulness practices to help me be more present again and just using journaling and gratitude writing to put me back in focus. So another goal I want to set is for budgeting. Um, I really want to keep track of all the ins and outs of where my money goes and um, to increase income this year either through um, an additional income stream or um, through my job and see if I can um, get a better position. So another section that is big in my life this year I want to set goals for is my family. So um, just the overall experience with my family, I want to improve that. And um, doing more activities with my little ones, um, be more intentional with the activities, and hopefully spending more outdoor time and less screen time, just um, beneficial for everyone. And especially with kids, sometimes you just get lost in all the chores and mundane things that happen from day to day. So I really want to be present and make um, schedules for um, us more often so that we can be intentional with our time and spend that time with the family. So another big part of my life is my business. Um, this is my creative outlet and where I let my curiosity grow. Um, so what I want to do this year is to continue to grow my blog. I've actually blogged quite a few times, but I've never really followed through. So I hope to follow through this year. Um, automate as many things as I can because time is precious and I just want things to flow better, um, setting boundaries for myself so I can block out time for my business and for my personal life. Um, and I also want to grow another company for children products. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Um, and grow my YouTube. So I'm posting more on here. And hopefully on top of all that, if I manage my time properly, I can have some time to create more products for my Etsy shop um, and creating more fun and functional items for my shop. And as I said earlier, I like using systems and um, templates to have get things done in life. So I'm setting up a routines page so that I can get more things done um, to day to day. So how I'm setting this up is to set a list of daily items, weekly items, and monthly items I need to get done around the house. So um, when I need to plan, I can just refer back to this page and move items that I need to do onto my to-do list. So um, I don't miss out anything and I don't have to think about um, all the tiny things I need to get done um, on a day-to-day -day -day basis and um, make sure I won't forget anything for any longer term items.
So now I just want to show you how I plan on setting up my daily pages. I have an insert that I put in here so um, I can change the type of insert I need from a day-to-day -day basis. And I've shown in a video before how I used a daily page like this before. So um, if you'd like to check that out, it's in my other video. Um, but this is what I plan on doing, so that gives me a little bit more flexibility. So thanks for planning my new year with me, and I hope you enjoyed seeing how I plan my goals and review my last year. Um, if you want this planner that I'm using, it's actually free for download with the link below. Um, and if you like to use the insert that I used for my daily planning, it's also in my Etsy shop, so take a look at that. And if you like my videos, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment.